Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to record the receipt of cash. Most cases, you'll get the payment at the time that you do your session. So I'm going to assume that we're not invoicing ahead of time, but that we're just getting the money at the time that we do the service. The easiest way I find is to go to Create Sales Receipts. Click on that. It's going to bring up a sales receipt. You can type in the customer's name up here if you want to keep separate names. In the future, it'll remember these names if you have someone who's a frequent, frequent customer. So I'm going to just put customer number one for now. It says it's not found. I can do a quick add and it just adds it right there. If I wanted, I could go in and add information about them, but for now, I just want their name. So the date, the sales number, it just is going to automatically number it for you. And then this is going to come into the item number. Now we haven't set up anything other than sales when we first set up the chart of accounts. So we could just say sales. Actually, it's not coming up with that. So I'm going to put in what items I want. So I'm going to put session fee. And it's not set up yet either because this is our first time using it. So I'm going to say it's a service, session fee. If I had a normal rate that I wanted to put, I could put it in here, say $350. And account, it's going to go into a sales because it's an income. So I'm going to hit OK. If I want to put a description, you have to put a quantity, I'm assuming one session fee. If you were doing this hourly, you could always do it that and how many hours and put a rate in that way. And then T means it's taxable. I'm in Washington State. We are taxable on almost everything we do, so I'm going to leave that little T for taxable in there. But we haven't set up any tax places yet. So I'm going to go down here to where it says no tax and type in, I'm going to say Tacoma. That's one of the cities around here. Item not found. So I'm going to set it up. So it's a sales tax item. The rate. Now this is just approximate rate. This is just the rate I'm going to put in for this purpose, 9.5%. And the tax agency for us is the state of Washington. So I'm going to do that and hit OK. State of Washington is not found. I'm going to quick add this. This will be a lot easier the second time around. And it went ahead and saved it. So let me go over on the left where it shows the different sales receipts. I'm going to click on it to bring it back here. So now we show there's a sales receipt, there's a customer, the $350 that added the 9.5% sales tax to a total of $383.25. Now, since it's a sales receipt, I'm saying I received the money already. I have two options. One, I can say that I deposit it to my Bank of America account and it'll show it as a deposit, or I can say group with other undeposited funds. This means that maybe I kept a few checks and I'm going to do one deposit for all of them. So I'm going to hit save and it saved it. Now I'm going to add another sales receipt. So I am going to go create sales receipt. So this one I'm going to do customer number two, but see it already filled in customer number one because it it knows them. So I'm going to do a quick add. But now if I pull this down in the future, I have the customers there. This one, let me do a wedding. And again, I can set it up quickly. Service, rate, say $1,000. And you don't have to put in a rate. You can just enter it in manually each time. And I want all this income to go to sales. So I'm going to hit OK. Again, a quantity of one, and it's taxable. Now let's say this one is in Auburn. So I'm going to do a setup, and I'm going to say this one is 9.2%, and it remembers that it's the state of Washington if I pull down, and I hit OK. And it keeps wanting to close it, so I'm going to go back to this, and it charged tax. But if I pull on this menu now, I now have, if I said, oh, actually it was in Tacoma, I can change the rate right here, and it remembers it based on what I said. Now this, I can also say how they paid. Maybe they paid cash or check, and I can record that up here. Now I'm going to hit save. Now I've got these sales receipts. 
that are sitting on my desk. I've told QuickBooks I have not given them to the bank yet. Well, now I've got two checks and I'm gonna to go to the bank and deposit them together. So I'm gonna to go to record deposits. And I'm gonna say, yes, I deposited both of these checks. So I'm going to hit OK. I clicked on both of them and then hit OK. And it's gonna to go to Bank of America, deposit. It says where it's from, check, cash, things like that. If I was gonna take out cash, this is not normal. If I was gonna keep cash back from those checks or such, I could record it down here and say what that expense went to. But I'm just going to hit OK. And now that's been recorded. If I go to my check register, now and open this up now this is just like an old-fashioned check register it's going to show that opening balance that I showed you originally that I entered it was and now it's showing this deposit and that deposit is the total of those two different checks and that is how you record a deposit